This is the listening test for levels from 3 to 5 of the Vietnam 6 level language proficiency test. Now, we are ready to start. Listen carefully. 1. When is the man's appointment? Good morning. I'd like someone to cut my hair, please. Can I make an appointment? Certainly. Um, Wednesday or Thursday morning or Friday afternoon? On Friday, I'm going to go to France. What about Thursday afternoon? I'm afraid I have a meeting all day Wednesday. Well, it's a little difficult, but if that's the only afternoon you can come, we'll see you then. Two. Which is the aunt's postcard? Look, Sandra, I got this really nice postcard from my aunt. Oh, what a pretty village. And it's right by a river. Is it in the mountains? Yes, but you can't see them in the picture. Hmm. Perhaps they're behind those tall trees. Three. What time will the plane to Milan leave? Excuse me, what time is the next plane to Milan? It should leave at quarter past seven, but it's an hour late today. Oh, that's a problem. If it doesn't leave until quarter past eight, I'll be one hour late for my meeting. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. Four. Which present has the girl bought her mother? Hi, it's me, Jane. I've got Mum's birthday present. I think she'll like it. Yes, that's right, a gold-coloured one. She's always writing letters, so she'll find it useful. Mm. I thought about a CD, but I'm never really sure what music she likes, and Dad's bought her a new pair of earrings for her birthday anyway. I'm sure she'll like what I've got her. 5. Which TV programme will they watch together? Hasn't that basketball match finished yet? You know I want to watch the wildlife programme at 9 o'clock. It's cancelled and everything's running late because the rock concert finished later than expected. Sit down and watch this match with me. It's really exciting and more interesting than looking at animals. Oh, OK then. 6. What time is the swimming lesson today? Hi Judy, do you want to play tennis after school? Say about 4.30? Mm, that would be fun, but I've got a swimming lesson. It's usually at a quarter past five, but it's half an hour earlier this evening at a quarter to five. It takes me ages to cycle to the swimming pool, so I really don't think I'll have time today. Let's try tomorrow. OK. 7. Which subject does the boy like best? I really like the new IT teacher. Our project for this term is to design a new website. I've always wanted to know how to do that. The sports teacher is much more serious, but that's still my favourite subject. Last year... I used to really like geography, but the teacher we have now gives us so much homework. 8. Which T-shirt does the boy decide to buy? I'd like to buy a black T-shirt with short sleeves, please. Large size. I'm afraid the black ones have long sleeves, but we've got short sleeves in the lighter colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? Uh, it must be round neck. Uh, let me think. Um, OK, I'll take one of the short-sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. That is the end of part one. Now, we are ready to start. Listen carefully.
One. When is the man's appointment? Good morning. I'd like someone to cut my hair, please. Can I make an appointment? Certainly. Um, Wednesday or Thursday morning, or Friday afternoon. On Friday, I'm going to go to France. What about Thursday afternoon? I'm afraid I have a meeting all day Wednesday. Well, it's a little difficult, but if that's the only afternoon you can come, we'll see you then. Two. Which is the aunt's postcard? Look, Sandra, I got this really nice postcard from my aunt. Oh, what a pretty village, and it's right by a river. Is it in the mountains? Yes, but you can't see them in the picture. Hmm. Perhaps they're behind those tall trees. Three. What time will the plane to Milan leave? Excuse me, what time is the next plane to Milan? It should leave at quarter past seven, but it's an hour late today. Oh, that's a problem. If it doesn't leave until quarter past eight, I'll be one hour late for my meeting. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. Four. Which present has the girl bought her mother? Hi, it's me, Jane. I've got Mum's birthday present. I think she'll like it. Yes, that's right, a gold-coloured one. She's always writing letters, so she'll find it useful. Hmm. I thought about a CD, but I'm never really sure what music she likes. And Dad's bought her a new pair of earrings for her birthday anyway. I'm sure she'll like what I've got her. Five. Which TV program will they watch together? Hasn't that basketball match finished yet? You know I want to watch the wildlife program at nine o'clock. It's cancelled, and everything's running late because the rock concert finished later than expected. Sit down and watch this match with me. It's really exciting and more interesting than looking at animals. Oh, okay then. Six. What time is the swimming lesson today? Hi, Judy. Do you want to play tennis after school? Say about four thirty. Hmm, that would be fun, but I've got a swimming lesson. It's usually at a quarter past five, but it's half an hour earlier this evening at a quarter to five. It takes me ages to cycle to the swimming pool, so I really don't think I'll have time today. Let's try tomorrow. Okay. Seven. Which subject does the boy like best? I really like the new IT teacher. Our project for this term is to design a new website. I've always wanted to know how to do that. The sports teacher is much more serious, but that's still my favourite subject. Last year. I used to really like geography, but the teacher we have now gives us so much homework. Eight. Which T-shirt does the boy decide to buy? I'd like to buy a black T-shirt with short sleeves, please, large size. I'm afraid the black ones have long sleeves, but we've got short sleeves in the lighter colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? Uh, it must be round neck.、Uh, let me think.、Um, okay, I'll take one of the short sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. That is the end of part one. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. One. What does Joe's father do? What's your father's job, Joe? He was a pilot, but now he's a farmer. What about your father? He's a photographer. Ah,、oh, I want to do that. If I don't become a pilot. 
two. What's George doing now? Hi, where's George? Is he still studying? He's driving his girlfriend to the airport. Oh, will he be back for the volleyball game? I don't think so. We'll have to play without him. Three. Which room will the woman stay in? Here's your key, Mrs. Hill. Your room is number forty-three. Up the stairs and turn right. Is it a quiet room? Well, it's quieter at the back of the hotel. Here, have this one if you prefer. Number twenty-three. Thanks. I'll need the room for six nights. Four. Who will be on the stage next? And that was Shark with Joe on piano and Rich on guitar. Lots of music to come, including the Three Biscuits with songs from their new CD. But first, here are Subway. You all know the drummer and guitarist, but singing here with them for the first time is Sarah Ireland, the drummer's sister. Please give her a big welcome. Five. What time will the pie be ready? What time is it, Mum? Do you think the apple pie will be ready yet? It's four thirty-five. And the pie went into the oven at quarter past four. That's right. You could check it at five and turn the heat down a bit, but don't take it out until twenty past. That's forty-five minutes to go. Okay. I'm hungry already. Six. Which photo does the girl dislike? I've got the photos back. Look, this one of us on the beach is just brilliant. Yes, you must get a copy for me to put in my photo album. It was a great day, but that other one's good too. I don't know why you think so. That dress I'm wearing looks awful. I only bought it because it was half price. The one of us on the boat isn't bad. Look. Hmm. Apart from the fact that we look seasick. Seven. What should the students take on the school trip? Now you won't need any money for the bus or your entrance ticket to the museum tomorrow because that's already paid for. But bring some change for when you get thirsty and want to buy a drink. The only food or drink allowed on the bus is fruit. Bring some with you because it's quite a long trip and you'll get hungry. And you'll need to bring all your coloured pencils for the work I'm going to ask you to do there. Eight. Where do the boys decide to go? So we've got three hours. Shall we go skateboarding in the park? What do you think? Well, there's the latest space film, which is meant to be good. Or there's a new computer game shop which has just opened. Oh, well, I haven't got enough money to buy a new game anyway. Let's go and watch the film. Okay, we can go skateboarding any time. That is the end of part one. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. One. What does Joe's father do? What's your father's job, Joe? He was a pilot, but now he's a farmer. What about your father? He's a photographer. Oh, I want to do that. If I don't become a pilot. Two. What's George doing now? Hi. Where's George? Is he still studying? He's driving his girlfriend to the airport. Oh. Will he be back for the volleyball game? I don't think so. We'll have to play without him. Three. Which room will the woman stay in? Here's your key, Mrs. Hill. Your room is number forty-three. Up the stairs and turn right. Is it a quiet room? Well, 
It's quieter at the back of the hotel. Here, have this one, if you prefer. Number 23. Thanks. I'll need the room for six nights. Four. Who will be on the stage next? And that was Shark, with Joe on piano and Rich on guitar. Lots of music to come, including The Three Biscuits, with songs from their new CD. But first, here are Subway. You all know the drummer and guitarist, but singing here with them for the first time is Sarah Ireland, the drummer's sister. Please give her a big welcome. 5. What time will the pie be ready? What time is it, Mum? Do you think the apple pie will be ready yet? It's 4.35. And the pie went into the oven at quarter past four? That's right. You could check it at five and turn the heat down a bit, but don't take it out until 20 past. That's 45 minutes to go. OK. I'm hungry already. Six. Which photo does the girl dislike? I've got the photos back. Look, this one of us on the beach is just brilliant. Yes, you must get a copy for me to put in my photo album. It was a great day, but that other one's good too. I don't know why you think so. That dress I'm wearing looks awful. I only bought it because it was half price. The one of us on the boat isn't bad. Look. Hmm. Apart from the fact that we look seasick. 7. What should the students take on the school trip? Now, you won't need any money for the bus or your entrance ticket to the museum tomorrow because that's already paid for. But bring some change for when you get thirsty and want to buy a drink. The only food or drink allowed on the bus is fruit. Bring some with you because it's quite a long trip and you'll get hungry. And you'll need to bring all your coloured pencils for the work I'm going to ask you to do there. 8. Where do the boys decide to go? So, we've got three hours. Shall we go skateboarding in the park? What do you think? Well, there's the latest space film, which is meant to be good. Or there's a new computer game shop which has just opened. Oh, well, I haven't got enough money to buy a new game anyway. Let's go and watch the film. OK, we can go skateboarding any time. That is the end of part one. Now, we are ready to start. Listen carefully. One. What will the boy wear in the race? Have you got everything for the race? Yes, I think so. I'll wear these long running trousers. It's quite cold. Don't you want your hat too? It's in my bag. I'll put it on later. Two. What colour will the room be? What colour are you going to have your room, Anne? I'd like to paint it green, but Mum thinks yellow looks warmer. Orange is my favourite colour. I like it too, but I'll have to do what Mum wants. 3. Where did Minnie and Richard first meet? Richard, have you met the new student in our class? Do you mean Minnie? Yes, she's the one who's a very good tennis player. I've known her since January. That's when her family moved next door to mine. 4. What has the girl lost? Can I help you? You look worried. Is everything all right? Well, I was in the playground about ten minutes ago with my friends and I got a call on my mobile phone. I had to get a pen out of my bag to write something down and I think my purse fell out. I can't find it now. Do you know if anyone has handed it in? 
You know you're not supposed to bring phones to school.、Mm. Anyway, let me go and check. What colour is it? Five. When will Jack's mum pick him up? Mum, I'm ringing to tell you I'm at Tim's house. Football practice finished early, so we walked here together. OK. Well, it's half past five now, so I'll come in the car and pick you up. It'll take me about half an hour, so I'll see you at six. Oh, there's something good on television then. Can you come and get me after it at seven? I can't, Jack. I've got to pick your dad up from the station then. Six. Which postcard will they send? We mustn't forget to send Mum a postcard. How about this one with a picture of the mountain? Well, it's nice, but we can't actually see it from where we're staying. What about a view of the lake and the village instead? Or perhaps one of the garden pictures, if you think she'd prefer it? Look at the cottage and all the flowers. Hmm, I think your first idea was better. We could put a cross to show where we're staying. Right then, let's do that. Seven. What do they decide to buy? Look, Kate, there are some of those biscuits you like. Oh, yes. Mmm. There aren't many in a packet, though, Mum. Why don't we have this cake instead? Remember, I've got my friends coming tomorrow. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I've already made a cake, and I've bought lots of ice cream. Well, I suppose some biscuits would be nice with ice cream. Do we need anything else? Eight. What has the girl forgotten to bring? Finish your drink. We'll be late for class. What are you looking for now? Don't tell me you've forgotten your homework. You said you were working on it really late. Don't worry. It was the first thing I put in my bag. Look, here it is. I won't be a second. Just checking everything. Pencil case. Now where did I? Oh, you'll be able to lend me a pen, won't you? Phone. Oh, here it is, in my pocket as usual. That is the end of part one. Now. We are ready to start. Listen carefully. One. What will the boy wear in the race? Have you got everything for the race? Yes, I think so. I'll wear these long running trousers. It's quite cold. Don't you want your hat too? It's in my bag. I'll put it on later. Two. What colour will the room be? What colour are you going to have your room, Anne? I'd like to paint it green, but Mum thinks yellow looks warmer. Orange is my favourite colour. I like it too, but I'll have to do what Mum wants. Three. Where did Minnie and Richard first meet? Richard, have you met the new student in our class? Do you mean Minnie? Yes, she's the one who's a very good tennis player. I've known her since January. That's when her family moved next door to mine. Four. What has the girl lost? Can I help you? You look worried. Is everything all right? Well. I was in the playground about ten minutes ago with my friends, and I got a call on my mobile phone. I had to get a pen out of my bag to write something down, and I think my purse fell out. I can't find it now. Do you know if anyone has handed it in? You know you're not supposed to bring phones to school.、Mm. Anyway, let me go and check. What colour is it? 
Five. When will Jack's mum pick him up? Mum, I'm ringing to tell you I'm at Tim's house. Football practice finished early, so we walked here together. Okay. Well, it's half past five now, so I'll come in the car and pick you up. It'll take me about half an hour, so I'll see you at six. Oh, there's something good on television then. Can you come and get me after it at seven? I can't, Jack. I've got to pick your dad up from the station then. Six. Which postcard will they send? We mustn't forget to send Mum a postcard. How about this one with a picture of the mountain? Well, it's nice, but we can't actually see it from where we're staying. What about a view of the lake and the village instead, or perhaps one of the garden pictures if you think she'd prefer it? Look at the cottage and all the flowers. Hmm, I think your first idea was better. We could put a cross to show where we're staying. Right then, let's do that. Seven. What do they decide to buy? Look, Kate. There are some of those biscuits you like. Oh yes. Mmm. There aren't many in a packet, though, Mum. Why don't we have this cake instead? Remember, I've got my friends coming tomorrow. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I've already made a cake, and I've bought lots of ice cream. Well, I suppose some biscuits would be nice with ice cream. Do we need anything else? Eight. What has the girl forgotten to bring? Finish your drink. We'll be late for class. What are you looking for now? Don't tell me you've forgotten your homework. You said you were working on it really late. Don't worry. It was the first thing I put in my bag. Look. Here it is. I won't be a second. Just checking everything. Pencil case. Now where did I? Oh, you'll be able to lend me a pen, won't you? Phone. Oh, here it is, in my pocket as usual. That is the end of part one. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. One. What music will they have at the party? Are you going to bring your guitar to the party? It's broken, I'm afraid. But you can play the piano for us. <sighs> I'm not good enough. Let's just play your new CDs. All right. I'll bring the guitar another time. Two. When will the man go on holiday? I can't go on holiday in June because my parents are coming to stay with me then. Why don't you go in August? It's a lovely month in the mountains. July's better. There aren't so many people, so I'll leave on the twelfth and come back at the end of the month. Okay. Then you'll be back for my birthday party in August. Three. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It's very hot, isn't it? Oh yes, I love it. I hope it doesn't rain. Well, it'll be cold and windy tomorrow. Oh dear, we never have hot weather for long. Four. Which dish did Mark cook in the competition? So you've won the teenage chef competition, Mark. Congratulations! Thanks. In the competition, you choose whether to cook a meat, fish, or a vegetarian dish. Then you're judged on the taste and how attractive it looks. I couldn't decide between fish and vegetables. I've never been brilliant at meat dishes. Then I found the judge was an expert in cooking fish, which worried me. So I went for my other choice and won. Five. Where is the girl's book now? Excuse me, I think I left my book on this table. Have you seen it? Oh yes, 
I took it inside with the empty glass when I cleared the table. I gave it to the manager who put it with the other lost property. He keeps it all in the drawer of his desk. I see. Where is he now? He's on the phone inside the cafe. Why don't you go inside? He'll be finished in a minute. Six. Who lives with Josh in his house? Does your house seem empty now your sister's left home, Josh? Not really. My grandmother's moved into her room and she doesn't go out much. It's really nice having her there because my dad never comes home until later. And if my mum's out for the evening, Grandma cooks supper for me. 7. What will the girl take with her on holiday? Have you packed for your holiday? No, I need to go shopping before I can do that. Last holiday, my suitcase handle got broken, so I need something new to put all my stuff in. But suitcases are so heavy to carry. I always take a backpack. You can carry more that way. Yes, I thought about one of those, but good quality ones are expensive. I'll get one of those big sports bags, you know, one you can pull along. They don't cost much, so it doesn't matter if it gets torn. 8. What time will the train to Manchester leave? The train arriving at Platform 6 is the 11.45 from Manchester. The train due to arrive at Platform 4 in approximately 5 minutes is the delayed 11.30 train to Manchester. The train will now depart at 11.50 and travel non-stop. We apologise to passengers for the delay. Refreshments will not be available on this train. That is the end of part one. Now... We are ready to start. Listen carefully. 1. What music will they have at the party? Are you going to bring your guitar to the party? It's broken, I'm afraid, but you can play the piano for us. <sighs> I'm not good enough. Let's just play your new CDs. All right. I'll bring the guitar another time. 2. When will the man go on holiday? I can't go on holiday in June because my parents are coming to stay with me then. Why don't you go in August? It's a lovely month in the mountains. July's better. There aren't so many people. So I'll leave on the 12th and come back at the end of the month. OK. Then you'll be back for my birthday party in August. 3. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It's very hot, isn't it? Oh, yes, I love it. I hope it doesn't rain. Well, it'll be cold and windy tomorrow. Oh, dear. We never have hot weather for long. Four. Which dish did Mark cook in the competition? So you've won the Teenage Chef competition, Mark. Congratulations. Thanks. In the competition, you choose whether to cook a meat, fish or vegetarian dish. Then you're judged on the taste and how attractive it looks. I couldn't decide between fish and vegetables. I've never been brilliant at meat dishes. Then I found the judge was an expert in cooking fish, which worried me. So I went for my other choice and won. Five. Where is the girl's book now? Excuse me, I think I left my book on this table. Have you seen it? Oh, yes. I took it inside with the empty glass when I cleared the table. I gave it to the manager who put it with the other lost property. He keeps it all in the drawer of his desk. I see. Where is he now? He's on the phone inside the cafe. Why don't you go inside? He'll be finished in a minute. 6. Who lives with Josh in his house? Does your house seem empty now your sister's left home, Josh? Not really. My grandmother's moved into her room and she doesn't go out much. It's really nice having her there because my dad never comes home until later. And if my mum's out for the evening, Grandma cooks supper for me. 7. 
What will the girl take with her on holiday? Have you packed for your holiday? No, I need to go shopping before I can do that. Last holiday, my suitcase handle got broken, so I need something new to put all my stuff in. But suitcases are so heavy to carry. I always take a backpack. You can carry more that way. Yes, I thought about one of those, but good quality ones are expensive. I'll get one of those big sports bags, you know, one you can pull along. They don't cost much, so it doesn't matter if it gets torn. 8. What time will the train to Manchester leave? The train arriving at Platform 6 is the 11.45 from Manchester. The train due to arrive at Platform 4 in approximately 5 minutes is the delayed 11.30 train to Manchester. The train will now depart at 11.50 and travel non-stop. We apologise to passengers for the delay. Refreshments will not be available on this train. That is the end of part one. Now, we are ready to start. Listen carefully. One. What colour is Mary's coat? Hi, Mary. What have you bought? This coat. Do you like it? Yes. Yellow looks good on you. Do you think I can use my blue bag with it? Your brown one will look better. 2. What did the woman repair? Hi. What have you done today? You know that broken shelf above my desk? Well, I repaired it and then I went shopping. What did you buy? A new chair. 3. What are they going to buy for Pam? Last year we gave Pam a book for her birthday. Should we buy her another one this year? I think we should give her a plant or some chocolates. But she doesn't like sweet things. Let's get her something to put in her garden, but not a book again. 4. Where will the friends meet? Hi, it's Kimberly. I got your message and I'd love to go to the movies. There's a film called Spy Game or a comedy. I don't mind which. Shall we meet outside the cinema? Or I know, at the burger bar on the corner. We could have a snack before we go in, or we could meet at the bus station. Mum's driving me into town this afternoon to buy some trainers, so I won't be near the station. But something to eat first is a good idea. Shall we say six o'clock? OK. Five. Which sport will the boy do soon at the centre? Have you been to the new water sports centre yet? Oh yes, it's brilliant. There are two indoor pools, one for underwater diving and one for swimming. And you can also have sailing lessons on the lake. That's what I'm doing there next weekend, actually. I was hoping to take water skiing lessons, but the leaflet says they're not starting those until next year. 6. What can't the woman find? I'm going to mend and paint the cupboard in your bedroom today. Great, Mum. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Can you go to the shop and get me a new hammer? This one's broken. But before you do that, ask your dad what he's done with the paintbrush. I've looked everywhere for it. There weren't any in the garage. All I could find was this knife, which I lost months ago. 7. What is the weather forecast for tomorrow? And now, for those of you planning to go to the Rock Festival tomorrow, you'll want to know what the weather is going to be like. As we go through today, the heavy rain will gradually disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow, we can expect some sunshine with just a few light showers and then some very hot and dry weather is likely by the weekend. 8. What did the boy buy? I got most of the shopping you asked for, Mum. 
I got the last of the bread and some orange juice, but sorry, there weren't any newspapers left. Oh, never mind. I need to remember to go in the morning. But what about the tomatoes for the salad? Ah,、oh, I forgot. I'll go back for them. Oh, don't worry. I'll stop and pick some up when I go out to collect your sister. That is the end of part one. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. One. What colour is Mary's coat? Hi, Mary. What have you bought? This coat. Do you like it? Yes. Yellow looks good on you. Do you think I can use my blue bag with it? Your brown one will look better. Two. What did the woman repair? Hi. What have you done today? You know that broken shelf above my desk. Well, I repaired it and then I went shopping. What did you buy? A new chair. Three. What are they going to buy for Pam? Last year we gave Pam a book for her birthday. Should we buy her another one this year? I think we should give her a plant or some chocolates. But she doesn't like sweet things. Let's get her something to put in her garden, but not a book again. Four. Where will the friends meet? Hi, it's Kimberly. I got your message, and I'd love to go to the movies. There's a film called Spy Game, or a comedy. I don't mind which. Shall we meet outside the cinema? Or I know, at the burger bar on the corner, we could have a snack before we go in, or we could meet at the bus station. Mum's driving me into town this afternoon to buy some trainers, so I won't be near the station. But something to eat first is a good idea. Shall we say six o'clock? Okay. Five. Which sport will the boy do soon at the centre? Have you been to the new water sports centre yet? Oh yes, it's brilliant. There are two indoor pools, one for underwater diving and one for swimming, and you can also have sailing lessons on the lake. That's what I'm doing there next weekend. Actually, I was hoping to take water skiing lessons. But the leaflet says they're not starting those until next year. Six. What can't the woman find? I'm going to mend and paint the cupboard in your bedroom today. Great, Mum. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Can you go to the shop and get me a new hammer? This one's broken. But before you do that, ask your dad what he's done with the paintbrush. I've looked everywhere for it. There weren't any in the garage. All I could find was this knife, which I lost months ago. Seven. What is the weather forecast for tomorrow? And now, for those of you planning to go to the rock festival tomorrow, you'll want to know what the weather is going to be like. As we go through today, the heavy rain will gradually disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow we can expect some sunshine with just a few light showers, and then some very hot and dry weather is likely by the weekend. Eight. What did the boy buy? I got most of the shopping you asked for, Mum. I got the last of the bread and some orange juice, but sorry, there weren't any newspapers left. Oh, never mind. I need to remember to go in the morning, but what about the tomatoes for the salad? Ah,、oh, I forgot. I'll go back for them. Oh, don't worry. I'll stop and pick some up when I go out to collect your sister. That is the end of part one.